Shalom, shalom, my Havarim. Greetings, my YouTube Mishpah. What's up, what's up, my people? And welcome, friends, to Bible and a Bicycle. Yeshua said, If ye love me, keep my commandments. My name is Will, and I am an aspired follower of Yeshua HaMashiach, that is, Jesus Christ. In this here series of little videos, we've been taking a look at the 50 commands, that's right, 50 commands that Yeshua HaMashiach, that is, Jesus Christ, gave us during his short earthly ministry. Now, if you're like me and you had no idea that there was actually 50 commands that our Lord, King, and Savior gave us, and this is your first time here, I would suggest you take out that there playlist, get all caught up, so that we can find out together exactly what are these commands of Yeshua's and what does it mean to us as believers. Keep them. Well, in this here particular little video, we're going to be taking a closer look at Yeshua's command to choose the narrow way. So without any further ado, I invite you to open up your Bible back to the book of Matthew. That's Matthew. Come on, get your Bibles, click them on, boot them up, turn them on, or open them up. However it is you do it, please open up your Bible and turn to the Gospel of Matthew. And today we're going to focus in on chapter 7 once again. We're going to move into verses 13 and 14. <clears throat> Where it is written, and we can read, now that we got these specs on, get your Bible, right? All right. The book of Matthew, chapter 7, verses 13 and 14. Where it is written, and we can read, Enter to ye at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Let's talk about life's choices. You know, we're often faced with decisions, big and small, that shape the course of our journey. But when it comes to the grand scheme of things, Yeshua, that is Jesus, paints us a vivid picture. It's not just about picking a gate, it's about embracing a whole way of life. Picture this, two roads, two ways of living. There's the wide, bustling highway where it seems like everyone's rushing, but it leads to destruction. Then there's the narrow path, less traveled perhaps, but it leads to light. Now here's the thing, that narrow path, it's not a last minute decision. It's not just a one time choice. It's a series of choices, day in and day out, that shape who we become. It's about remembering our creator in the days of our youth before the tough times hit, before we find ourselves saying, I have no pleasure in them. God's been trying to show us this way for ages. Throughout history, he's been reaching out, sending prophets, urging us to turn from the path of death and embrace life. Even now, he speaks through believers, nudging us away from foolishness and sin and toward the true and living way. Take Saul of Tarsus, for example. He thought he was fighting against people, but he was actually fighting against Yeshua himself. It took a blinding light on the road to Damascus for him to see the truth. But here's the deal. Yeshua is the way of life. He's the door to eternal life, the means through which we find redemption and salvation. Now, I know many of us here belong to Christian communities. We hear about Jesus, we read the Bible, but sometimes we fall short. 
It's not about the church we attend. It's about our personal relationship with God. It's about whether our faith is just a hobby or a life-changing encounter. Yeshua himself laid it out plain and simple. Enter through the narrow gate. Sure, the wide gate may seem enticing, but it leads to destruction. It's easy to get caught up in false teachings, in the lure of self-indulgence, or the trap of legalism. But that's not the way to salvation. So, how do we find our way through the narrow gate? It's not about extremes. It's not about earning our place in heaven through deeds or denying ourselves the joys of life. It's about repentance and faith. See, the path of a believer is both easy and hard. It's easy because it's a gift. All we have to do is believe in Yeshua, ask for forgiveness, and eternal life is ours. But it's hard, too, because it requires humility and self-denial. It's not easy to admit our faults, to surrender our will to God's. We see examples throughout history of those who choose their own way over God's. From Satan's rebellion, to Adam and Eve's desire for knowledge, to the rich young ruler who couldn't let go of his wealth. We see it today in our own struggles with pride and self-sufficiency. And yes, being a follower of Yeshua isn't always easy. We're called to live differently, to stand against the tide of the world's values. We may face ridicule, rejection, even persecution. But Yeshua tells us to hold fast, even if it means sacrificing relationships with those we love most. So let's not be deceived by empty religion or false teachings. Let's choose the narrow path, the path of humble faith and holy living. Let's follow Yeshua, the way, the truth, and the life, and find our true citizenship in the kingdom of God. May we all have the courage to enter through the narrow gate and walk in the footsteps of our Savior. Amen. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Well, I think that's just about as good a place as any. Close our Bible for now. And have a little talk about that narrow gate, that narrow way. I don't know about you, but I can relate to having to come back daily, sometimes more than daily, to repent of my sins, my shortcomings, and to start turning away from those sins and shortcomings. Daily, daily. The day you get up and you feel that there's nothing you need to repent of, Lord have mercy. That's the days you really need to get down and pray. Ask the Lord to reveal to you your shortcomings so that you can work on them. Choose that narrow way. This old world out here, it's got a lot to offer with your cell phone, social media, but in the end, it don't amount to nothing. It'll become the next trend. You'll be nothing but a memory, if even. So let's stay vigilant, sober-minded, get to the scriptures every day, come before the Lord and rejoice, worship, lamentation, and to repent. Keep peddling on that narrow path, the path of the way, the truth, the light, that path which is Yeshua HaMashiach. And on that note, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you. That's right, you out there watching this here little video right now getting to know a little bit more about the commands that Yeshua gave us during his short earthly ministry. I know they're not the most popular videos here and they don't get me the most watch time, but I personally really enjoy making these here little 50 teachings of Yeshua videos because with each one, as I do the research and the editing to bring the video to you, I learn more myself every time. They've ended up being quite a blessing for me. As I say, folks, I'm not here to teach and preach. I'm here to share as I learn. I'm an aspire follower of Yeshua. Because to be honest, most days I slip up, find myself over there in that traffic. Got to realign, get back on that narrow way. So these videos really have been a blessing to me. And hopefully 
they've been some sort of blessing or benefit to you as well. If you did get anything out of this here little video, you know the routine. If you're not subscribed already, maybe hit that subscribe button right down there. Become part of our little YouTube mishpaha, little YouTube family. Got anything at all out of it? Show us love. Hit that little like button. And if you got any friends or family members that you think might benefit from these here little videos, hit that little share button. Share it with them. All those things only takes you a few seconds. But as a small struggling YouTube channel trying to promote the Lord and His truth, those little things sure do help. If you'd like to support this channel or the ministry we do here locally with those experiencing poverty and or homelessness, the whole bunch of links down below where you can help support our channel through one-time donation through PayPal. Go over there and become a member over on the co fi for as little as $3 a month or a one-time donation where you'll get access to exclusive videos, artwork, blogs, etc. And if you're not able to financially help support this channel, don't worry about it. I'm just glad you're here watching. And until next time, remember, Yeshua, Jesus loves you. And so do I. Get off of here. Go ride your bike and read your Bible.